For those who found the truth later in life, it may have been a big decision to choose to serve Jehovah. That was the case for Brother Michael Lemoyne from the United States. When his wife started studying the Bible with the witnesses, he was not pleased. His upbringing made her newly found faith difficult to accept. I was the youngest of a family of three. We lived in a little bitty town in uh, Louisiana. It was predominantly Catholic. In the Catholic Church, the way that we were taught to pray was a set of repetitive prayers. Really, it was easy to pray like that because you, you really didn't have to think. Once you had those prayers memorized, which you know was at a very early age, it was just uh, rote. Around the time that I was just about out of college, going into law school, there was something missing. I wanted to be close to God, but I didn't know how. I met Sharon in 1986, and we ended up getting married the following year. Sharon and I, because she had been divorced, we were not allowed to have our marriage be conducted in the Catholic Church with a priest. And that, that didn't bother me at first, uh, but over time it did. I asked them what it would take for us to be able to bless our marriage. She would have to undergo a period of sessions of religious training. When he asked me that, I said, yeah, I'll study with him. We never, ever opened up a Bible. It was a little disappointing. Around that same time, there was a zealous sister. I would study with her, and it was all Bible. As I continued learning about the Bible, the reasoning from the scriptures was so great. It was something that I knew I wasn't going to be able to brush off. So she came forward and said, I have something to tell you. Uh, I have been studying with the Jehovah's Witnesses for a period of time. Um, I am convinced that this is the true religion, and I, I do not want to participate anymore in the Catholic faith, the Catholic Church. What moved me to tell Mike about my Bible study was Genesis 6-6. Six, six. It matters what we do, how we can affect Jehovah, that he could feel hurt in his heart, and it crushed me. It, it crushed me because of the love that he has for us. I consider it to be the dark years because there was so much animosity on my part. He was trying to do anything he could to get me to stop. I even talked about divorce, thinking that, you know, the shock and awe uh, treatment might bring her to her senses. He would actually pack up a suitcase and leave. She, in fact, was becoming um, a better, a better, better wife and a better mother. The sister, my teacher, she'd say, this is good that he is being so zealous about his faith because he loves God. Like Paul, you know, he, he thought that was the right thing to do. I was trained as a lawyer. I get a case. I usually know nothing about it. I do an investigation. I retain experts to help me understand what I don't understand. So naturally, I'm going to go to my church. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to my religious leaders, my spiritual leaders, and get them to help me with this. I made an appointment with a very, very high-ranking priest. I told him that my wife was studying with the Jehovah's Witnesses, and I was seeking some help. And the first thing that he told me, and I'll never forget this. He looked straight at me and said it would take nothing short of a miracle for me to pull my wife away from the Jehovah's Witnesses because they knew the Bible so well. In my life at that point where I'm struggling, I'm trying to win over my family, that was a devastating day. So I said, Michael, the Bible, the book from God, you don't know. Why not study it? Why not study that like you study the law books or the cases? I decided that I would go with her 
uh, on Sunday, on Sunday only, and only for the first half hour, I'd say it was at least a year that I went to meetings with the aim of learning and refuting it. But for now, you see how that relates to the question? You read that the earth will stay forever, that there is no trinity, there is a name for God the Father, and there is no hellfire, there is no purgatory. These things were refreshing. I was totally convinced. By October 1996, I wrote my letter to the same priest who thought it was going to be a miracle for me to get my wife out and informed him that I was withdrawing from the Catholic faith. A large part of the transition that I made was because of the friends in the congregation. I was not a person that you'd want to approach. But then when I decided to make the change, and it was fast, these people never treated me any differently. Their arms were always open. Jesus tells us that uh, no one can come to the Father unless Jehovah draws that person. What he saw, I don't know. I oftentimes pray to him, and I don't know what to say, but I'm deeply appreciative of what he's done for me. You'll be happy to know that Brother Lemoyne now serves as an elder and the coordinator of the body of elders of their congregation. His wife Sharon and their children serve as regular pioneers. And Sister Lemoyne proved through her loyalty to Jehovah that it is possible to stand firm despite persecution from family members. <laughs> 